My name is Lou Ann Creighton and I work for the Nature Conservancy and I serve as the Outreach Director and the Local Implementation Team Coordinator for the Chattahoochee Fall Line Conservation Partnership. Our partnership works in West Georgia and East Alabama on the landscape scale conservation, restoration, and management of the longleaf pine ecosystem. Our partnership was launched back in 2011 and since that time, our public agency partners and our Department of Defense partner, Fort Benning, and also our not-for-profit partners have worked very closely together to leverage all of our resources to accomplish a lot of high-quality conservation projects on this landscape. In 2012, we wanted to engage the private landowners in the region more fully, and we launched a broad outreach program. And we focused on education, and we focused on resources that would help private landowners manage their lands if they were interested in the same way we were managing some of our properties. But the partners identified very quickly that the critical component was getting more acres of prescribed fire on the landscape. So we pulled together a working group, a big working group that involved both boots on the ground, land stewards, as well as senior leadership from our different organizations, and we brainstormed ways to get more acres of prescribed fire out on the landscape. The idea that came out of that brainstorming was the creation of the Chattahoochee Fall Line Prescribed Fire Cooperative. It would be led by the Georgia Forestry Commission, but it would be an effort that was truly collaborative and supported by multiple partners. So in 2017, R.T. Lumpkin was hired as the prescribed fire coordinator, and we're gonna hear from him about some of the projects the cooperative has accomplished since it was launched. Hello, my name is R.T. Lumpkin. I work for the Georgia Forestry Commission. I am the lead for the Chattooch Fall Line Prescribed Fire Cooperative. This is a multi-agency approach to actually increasing the number of acres burned on private lands in this area. Our research has shown that there's about 1 million forested acres here. We're actually hoping to increase the number of acres burned from 4% to 6%. That doesn't seem like a lot, but it's about 20,000 acres. We plan to do that through several methods, or it's more of a shotgun approach. We have a very diverse group of landowners in that 1 million acres. Some that have a lot of experience burning, that need a few resources, and some don't even know that prescribed fire is a good thing. So several of the methods that we plan on using are outreach, training events, that we actually put a drip torch in somebody's hand and let them burn something, and actually providing technical assistance and resources. One key component to actually reaching that goal is actually meeting landowners where they're at. So we formed the West Central Georgia Forest Landowners Association. This group is critically important to reaching that goal. Its primary focus is not to increase prescribed fire, but to help landowners meet their objectives. Once they meet their objectives and they know prescribed fire is a good thing, we'll be in place with the necessary tools and resources to help them burn. When we talked to members of the West Central Georgia Forest Landowners Association, we discovered that many do not have the tools to actually implement a prescribed burn. So we developed the West Central Georgia Prescribed Burn Trailer. Let's check it out. The burn trailer behind me contains all the tools and equipment needed to safely and efficiently conduct a prescribed burn. How did we decide what goes into the trailer? Simple. We surveyed the members of the West Central Georgia Forest Landowners Association. We took that information and provided it to our partners to assemble the resources needed to make this trailer a success. This trailer did not cost the state any funds. It does contain a lot of expensive equipment that requires a fee to upkeep so we decided to charge a hundred dollars a day to rent this trailer. Come with me and let's take a look at what's inside.
As you can see, there's a lot of contents in here that actually help the private landowners do prescribed burning as well as prepare their land to actually make the burn successful. Some of the items in it are the prescribed burn ahead signs that notify the public that this is a prescribed burn and not a wildfire. A ATV water tank that's handy for mop up or control of small spots, as well as some of our hand operated tools like the bladder bag, drip torches, fire rakes, shovels, etc. Another key item that's in this trailer is the blower. This is a very handy tool when installing fire brakes on highly erodible sites or on roads that you really don't want to plow or harrow up. As you can see, this blower is very effective in making a fire break. Along with private landowners using this, we also use it as a tool cache to support our prescribed fire training efforts for private landowners in this area. Come with me to the track to see an example of these exercises. In the previous video, you saw a prescribed burn that was conducted here in Marion County. We're at that site today and I think it looks pretty good. Technical assistance comes in many forms. All of our partners provide good advice. Some of that advice can just be when to burn. Some of it can actually be helping you burn. That expanded knowledge from all our different partners can be confusing to some private landowners. We utilize an event called a learn and burn to solve that problem. On those events, landowners get to talk with our partners like our local GFC County Rangers, TNC, DNR, and other partners to learn and ask questions as the day goes along. They actually can write a burn plan, install fire brakes, tote a drip torch, and customize that day to what they want to learn about. The problem with learning burns is we can't control the weather, so we're developing a new program called LIFT or Landowner Field Trips. This allows us to take information from private landowners about what they want to learn. Maybe it's a young longleaf stand like we're in today, or a site prep burn, or a working forest. We'll take that information and marry it up with a partner-led burn in the area and actually take them out to experience a prescribed fire one-on-one. -on -one. They can ask questions and we can tailor the experience to what they need. Let's hear from a landowner that's participated in the LIFT program. Well, my understanding was after early spring, you didn't burn. Everything was too green. You've got a lot of uh, fuel, dry fuel right at the ground level, which is where the fire is actually consuming the fuel. So that's something that people in this area can learn is that uh, even during the summer months, you can burn with the right conditions. We would like to give a special thank you to the Nature Conservancy and Georgia Pacific for providing the UTV that'll make this program possible. Let's go talk about some cost here. When we surveyed private landowners in the area, they indicated that they needed cost share to actually get prescribed burning done. So we leveraged our strong partnerships in the area to gather the necessary resources to start the West Central Georgia Prescribed Fire Initiative. Thanks to DNR's Bob White Quail Initiative and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation's grant opportunities that made this initiative possible. 
This initiative focuses on bobwhite quail and gopher tortoise habitat. It resulted in over 6,500 acres being burned on 72 different landowners. We look forward to growing this initiative in 2021. For more information on upcoming events, please like us on Facebook by searching the West Central Georgia Forest Landowners Association or simply search keyword WCGFLA. The co-op and our many partners look forward to listening to you and actually helping you manage your property going forward. The Prescribed Fire Cooperative, assisting private landowners with prescribed fire today and for future generations. Papa. What?